it's been two months and I've been waiting on pins and needles. Basically, I just sit on my hands so I didn't open it. But it is time to open the Clabber Culture Cheese and see if this type of thing actually works. Looks beautiful. Here it is. It blows my mind that I potentially made cheese with milk as the only ingredient. Aside from rennet and salt, it's just milk making itself into cheese, which is wild. It just totally blows my mind that this might work. It smells good. There's no moisture. And I get a hint of something which makes me think coffee, chocolate, and bark, like wood bark. I don't know why I just have those images that flash into my mind. Oh. Oh my goodness, it really went together. There we go. Oh, okay. I think it has some hole development, like from Propionic Shermani. Oh, oh, look. So you can see how it was like smearing right across here because I was pulling on it. But those are shadow holes right there. And then bigger, like mechanical holes. Let's cut it, let's cut it, let's cut it. No, I think that's mechanical holes. Oh my freaking word. <laughs> this might be some of the better cheese that I've ever made. Oh my lands. I am shocked. I am so shocked. It's soft. It's elastic in the sense that it's like pliable a little bit, but it's not rubbery. It's creamy, it has a really nice chew. It's very tender. And the flavor is, the flavor is exquisite. There's zero farminess, there's zero weird funk. There's zero like acid or bitterness. There's like, oh, what is it? I can't even place, there's a depth. In my head, I'm thinking robust, round and dark colors, like browns and like it's a, these are the wrong words, but like caramelly, chocolatey, that type of thing. Like it's not light bright, it's like that other part there. Oh man, maybe not all cheese is cheese is cheese. This is different, this is really different. You don't have to wait longer. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna change in six months, but this is fully developed with flavor. It's a very, very solidly good cheese. Two months, you can do it. I don't know what it's gonna be like in six months. We're gonna be packaging this back up, but this is a good cheese. We're gonna start doing clabber culture cheeses. Like this is where it might be at, or at least some things might be at. <laughs> oh my land. I gotta do a natural aged Rhine one. Mm. <laughs> I want to be totally real with you. This is not a cheese like a blue cheese or some wild weird flavor that's special. I didn't create a whole new beast. I think the reason I'm so excited about this is because I really, really didn't know if Clabber would work and I was very, very doubtful. So much of my excitement is perhaps relief and also just shock that you can make cheese from just milk, like this level of hard cheese with the rennet and the salt and using milk to create its own culture that you set out at room temperature is just bizarre. It's wild. So that's a large portion of my delight in this cheese. It's not like this cheese itself is blow your head off. Fantastic. It is absolutely really, really, really good. I stand by that, but it's not like I just made the best Parmesan in the world. I think those nuanced flavors will come with natural rinds and with different types of makes, different methods. I mean like higher temperature, lower temperature, but the idea that I can make cheese from clabber is revolutionary for me. I do wonder if there's just a little bit of gas in here. It's like naturally occurring. Maybe if I treated this like a Jarlsberg where you chill the wheel of cheese for the first couple weeks and then you bring it out to room temperature, Maybe these would like do more growth, but I love this buttery look. Oh, it's so beautiful. This method was very similar to Gouda. So this is kind of, I guess this is a Gouda maybe. I don't know, whatever. Absolutely beautiful. I'm over the moon y'all.